payday. Millions of dollars pouring into the hands of the American worker. Now in the mind of the average worker live two separate personalities. One, the thrifty. Wait a bit, laddie. You're going to save a bit of that, aren't you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Oftentimes, idle money burns a hole in your pocket, which brings out the other personality. <gasps> the spendthrift. Hi, big shot. Come on with me. I'll show you how to spend your dough. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! I got a couple of good beats. Hello. But, laddie, I've got some better deeds. Important ones, too. When every American should pay his or her income tax gladly and proudly. This year, thanks to Hitler and Hirohito, taxes are higher than ever before. Will you have enough money on hand to meet your payments when they fall due? Ah, we'll take care of that later. Forget it, forget it. But you don't want to forget our fighting men, do ye? No, sir! Then you'll have to start saving right away to meet your tax payments. Listen, chum. Spend it. It's your dough. Yeah, it's my dough. Aye, laddie. It's your dough. But it's your war, too. You must save for victory. What's money for? Spend it. Shoot the works. Nay, nay, you must save it. Spend. Save. Well, now what are you going to do? Spend for the axis? Or save for taxes? Taxes for American factories, working full blast, making planes. Bombers, dive bombers. Flying fortresses, interceptors, stalk the birds of prey that fly by night. Cruisers, destroyers, all kinds of battle wagons. Taxes to sink the Axis. Taxes to keep them flying. Taxes to keep them rolling. Taxes to keep them coming. Taxes to beat to earth the evil destroyer of freedom and peace. This is our fight. The fight for freedom. Freedom of speech. Of worship. Freedom from want and fear. Taxes will keep democracy on the march.